Hey beauties and curls, I know it's been a while, so sorry. Um, but I have been enjoying my children, my family. It's been a lot of holidays. I've had birthdays, anniversaries. That's how it is in June and we are in July. In today's video, we are going to review. Yes, I said we, because it's me and Missy Pelo. We are going to review the pattern Pusha hair styling gel from Curl Junkie. If you're interested, because this one is a doozy, y'all, then keep watching. This is not going to be a long video because, y'all, this gel, I just did how to fix your hair if it's flaky. This one gave me some serious flakes. So this is the reason why I love doing reviews and trying the product with several different products that are already like OGs in the regimen because the first time I tried this, fine. Second time, fine. Third time, <laughs> You know, it just went crazy. And it was because I noticed that this gel is very finicky on the leave-in and the process that you use. And the reason why I say that is because this time I used a lighter oil. I used a Myel Organics, which is the almond mint oil. So it has sweet almond oil. It is not as heavy as my avocado or my coconut oil, which I feel like needs to be paired with this. And I think it took away the flakes. You know, I use the lock method. That's the LOC liquid oil cream. So the liquid for me is water. The oil is my avocado oil, my Myel, my coconut oil, and then the cream would be my leave-in. Now this is the styler. So this goes after the lock method. Okay. So this is the styling gel that I used and I love the consistency. I love that it's a snotty gel. Y'all, it's a snotty gel. Okay. And I really love it. And the way that you can tell that it's snotty, look. And when I say snotty, it is just the, the adjective that I'm using in terms of it being a very, like, loose and sticky. It's not really, is it sticky? It's not really even sticky. Y'all, it's more, it's watery. It's watery based. And, but... Again, it is sticky. I've had some that are like extremely sticky and I'm going to put this back here, but I do have a video fixing the flakes because it was crazy. Like, you know, it's crazy when you start clapping your hands like this, but it was crazy and I fixed it. If you want to check that video out, if you don't have time and you have kind of like a situation like I did because I'm on my way somewhere. Um, yeah, I had to fix it. So check out that video. I'll leave it in the cards, iCards up here or down in the description box. So don't forget to check that out. But let's get back to this because Missy Palo was like, girl, what are you doing to me? Okay. She was like, que lastima. she was like, Dios mio. Okay. This was very finicky with leave-ins. Okay. So it works very, very well with Curl Junkie products. That's one of the things that I learned. This is one that definitely, if you want to go into the line, very moisturizing. Even the Curl Rehab, the deep conditioner, worked beautifully, which is the first time I used it. So it was perfect. I love, it gives, and I have it in my hair today. It gives a nice hold, okay? I would say it gives a soft, medium hold. If I had to rank the hold level from 1 to 10, it's about a 5 or a 6. Okay, it's not horrible, but it's not like long lasting. I will probably get a maximum of 3 days using this gel. And usually I like to go 4 to 5. And the reason why I gave it is because you still get, you know, it's glycerin free. Which means that that's something that my hair really, really likes. It has a very short list. And the products in here are usually really really good when it comes to curl junkie do i like this product yes when i'm using curl junkie products the and i notice it likes like heavy oils that's the way that you can eradicate the flakes but girl don't use your regular stuff that's just like a lightweight moisturizer mm -mm -mm. this one is like uh-uh i'm stronger than that honey if you like Curl Junkie, you want to stay in the line, and if you need a glycerin-free gel, I say go for it, y'all. But if you're not into heavy oils or heavy, like, or really good moisturizing, like, heavy leave-ins, I, I think you're going to have the flaking going on. 
this one is not a long video i hope you guys enjoyed it comment down below if you have tried this what were what was your results with this gel because i really like it but it's not something that i would repurchase over and over because my smooth naturals my uncle funky's daughter i don't get flaking it's it doesn't ball up i didn't have that happen with this but girl it was all in my scalp it was a problem and um because i love some curl junkie products i can use this but once i'm out of that deep condi i mean it, yeah the curl rehab once i'm out of the deep conditioner the curl rehab by curl junkie i'm going to have some problems with this gel but it works really well within the line however outside of the line you might have some questionable results but like i said it's a good gel if you own curl junkie products or you have some heavy oils and heavy leave-ins so high porosity you would like this i believe low porosity no Okay, I'm just telling you, I don't think that this one would work, especially if you tend to like lightweight products, even with high porosity. If you like high, uh, like light, lightweight, you're not going to like this either. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.